Hello everybody. Welcome back. I'm Jan. If you're new here, thank y'all for being here. So today uh, we're going to make a shrimp salad. I have, I have too many fried shrimp left and I love salads. So the first thing we're going to do is make our dressing. This will be a little bit mm, unconventional. Uh, I'm not going to add any acidity to it. So if you do make this, uh, you might want to go back and add a tablespoon or two of uh, lemon juice. I just don't have any. First thing we're going to do is add some mayo. Not a lot. I'll say about a quarter cup. I don't like, uh, I like a hint of salad dressing on my salad. You know, I just want to taste a little bit. I don't like my stuff just smothered in the dressing. Gonna add a squirt of Dijon mustard. We're going to add a squirt of ketchup. Good. We're going to add a couple little drops of Worcestershire sauce. Just, I mean, a tiny bit. I don't even think that was a, a teaspoon. <clears throat> Black pepper. That's to taste. Some salt. Old Bay seasoning. If you don't like Old Bay, you could just add a little bit of cayenne here. Or you could, you know, leave it like that. That's up to you. And we're going to add... <clears throat> tablespoon. I'm using freeze-dried dill. If you have fresh dill, that would be better. Mmm. Oh, that smells good. And I'm getting dill everywhere. Okay. We're also going to add, a, I'm going to chop up some green onions. I just forgot to get them out. Let's see what this tastes like first. A little more old babe. And a little splash of Worcestershire. Not too much. You don't really want to taste the Worcestershire. You might want to get, you know, some just some notes of it in the background, but and honestly you could just use this as a dip if you wanted to. If you boil up a bunch of shrimp. <clears throat> now let's see. Oh yeah. Mm. Try this y'all. Mm. I'll put everything in the description underneath the video. What I put in here. You will love. Love, love, love this. All right. I want to get this made first. We're going to set this in the fridge. I should have got out my cutting board, but I'm just going to roughly chop up these green onions. I'm not using the right knife either, so <laughs> I'll just ignore the fact that I'm doing this completely wrong. <clears throat> Added our green onion into our a little dressing. Y'all, this is so good. I mean, I could sit here and eat this with potato chips, too. Or chicken strips, or <clears throat> just about anything. Absolutely delicious. Mm. I really hope y'all try this. Here's my shrimp. So what I'm going to do here is just kind of roughly chop these. Leaving all that crunchy in. Even though obviously it's a little bit mushy now because these have been in the fridge. 
Mm -hmm. Oh, my. So good. Okay. You can leave these cold. If you've already made them up, you could fry them up and do this fresh. I want mine a little warm. So I'm going to stick these in the microwave. Sabu, I know, but I'm going to put them in there for about 20 seconds. So that's it. I just want to get them slightly above cold. I'm taking just some shredded lettuce. Let's see any brown lettuce is coming out. Mm. This is not supposed to be brown. This is I just got this from the store. But I'll definitely see some brown lettuce. It's alright, we'll just pick them out. Should be enough. I'm only making enough for me to eat right now because I can't get a shrimp salad out of my head. All right, let's add some of our delicious dressing to the lettuce. I should be using a fork right now. See, for me, this is perfect. Not too much, not too little. Actually, this probably is a little bit too much, but once I add the shrimp in here, that'll spread this out some. Okay. Grab the shrimp. Here we go, y'all. Quick, easy, so good. If you don't like a shrimp or a shrimp salad, just make that dip for, I mean, anything. Mm, mm, mm. That's amazing. I do recommend you use the, the Old Bay seasoning. <clears throat> Unless you know that it's in there, you won't know what it is. You won't be able to put your finger on anything, really. I mean, obviously, you can tell there's some mayonnaise in there, even though you can't taste it. You can just, you know, tell by looking. But all those seasonings together, especially with that dill and the green onions. Ugh. Mm. This is actually better than I thought it was going to be. I hope you all are uh, having a wonderful week. Hope everybody's getting excited for spring. I know I am. If I can, this is amazing. Please try this. I, I, don't, I mean, just shrimp aside. Try the dressing. Anyway, 
I appreciate y'all sticking around. Wait for me to show back up and start getting some videos back out to you. I have so much more to make. And if y'all remember, I told you I was always doing this for my kids anyway. So I definitely want to get as many, you know, put out as I possibly can. Uh, again, I thank y'all so much for being here. I truly appreciate it. I hope you'll try this or any any other videos. But this one, I think I'm going to be making this a lot from now on. <clears throat> Unbelievable. Mm. See y'all soon.